Good morning, it's Uncle Laurie here with another shave. It's the 1st of December, which is the first day of summer in Australia. And it's a lovely day, but it is a bit cloudy. Quite warm, about, uh, I think they're expecting about uh, 27, 28 degrees, which is, which is pretty good temperature. I'm uh, happy with that temperature. <laughs> I don't like it up near 40. Right, today is a Aussie Wednesday shave and we're going with Salt Lake Soaps from um, uh, near the sunshine coast of Queensland. And we're using the Amalfi Coast scented soap today and the ingredients just put them there, I get behind it so it'll focus. I'll leave it there for a few seconds. Alright. The brush we're going to use with that is my horsehair brush from Bilon. The horsehair comes from Spain. It's a 24mm knot. Horsehair is quite soft. This is I think about 35% uh, uh, main hair and 65% uh, what's it, tail hair, isn't it? Or, or it could be the other way around, I'm, I'm never sure. Anyway, it's a mix. I think the main hair gives you the, uh, the firmer hairs, the little, probably the whiter hairs that are there and the tail gives you the soft hairs. I could be wrong. I could be have the wrong way around. <laughs> All right, we'll put that in the soap. Horsehair is a bit of a leather monster, so uh, and it absorbs a lot of water. I'll show that in a second. All right, and I've already got the soap squashed in the bottom of the bowl. Half a teaspoon. It turned out quite soft. It could be because of the, the warmer temperatures at the moment. There's the pour. You can see I've got a few scoops out on this side. It's a big tub, 180 grams thereabouts. So it's quite, um, Good value. I think they're about $25 a tub, somewhere around there. Right, we'll go to the leathering station and produce the leather. Oh, actually, before we do that, we shan't forget our pre shave. Been a bit forgetful lately and not doing it before my leather. I like to do it before so it has a chance to do some work on the, on the beard. I just massage that in with a bit of water. I don't rinse it off, I just go straight over the top of it with my leather. I've got about uh, one and a half, nearly two days of growth. Which is, on my face, it's not a lot. I don't, uh, my hair doesn't grow that quick. All right, we'll move to the leathering station now and we'll produce the leather. Right, we're at the leathering station. I'll just move out of that out of the way, show you how much water. You can't probably see that, but it's dripping with water. I'll just squeeze it 
这样。Yeah, holds a lot of water, so we'll go and start the lever with that. After the squeeze, I just squeeze down the most of the water, and we'll just um, juice the lever, make a bit of paste first. How much of that lather has been absorbed by the brush? Look at that. One thing I do find the horse here, they make a really nice lather with it. Bit like a very fine synthetic. Beautiful. Just keep going. Look at that. Beautiful leather. I'll keep going. The water. Put a lot in that time. All right, we'll go with that. Right, we're back from the leather, or leathering, and we have a lovely, rich, shiny leather there. I'm not sure you can see the the gloss. It's very nice. So we'll start painting on the face. I've already re-moistened the face. This brush has got loads of leather in it. I'm only going to have to scrape a bit off. Yeah, that'll be better. You, you do get a little bit of The prickliness from the, the coarser hairs in the brush. Well, otherwise, it's, it's a lovely brush. As you can see, it's a lovely painter. I probably wouldn't get another horse here compared compared to the synthetic, so I still would prefer a synthetic. That's because of that slight scratchiness. Right, the razor we're going with. 
comes from DS Cosmetic. It's called a T7SE head, which is a Samac version of the, oh, what's it called? Mumba? Razorock Mumba? It's like a clone of that. It's quite a mild razor, even though it's got um, a 0.7 millimeter gap. Got a winner blade in there from Gillette in India. I'll just uh, get to, yeah, I've got it here. So a winner blade on its second use with ten dukkha on the cover. Made in the Gillette factory in India. Quite mild shave, you can hardly feel any blade. I don't have any experience with the original Mumba head, so I can't say how it compares. But I will get one at some stage. It is made quite well for a Samak head or a Chinese Samak head. The finish is pretty good. That's the first pass. Slickness from that soap. If you're in Australia, I compare it probably to the squadron, maybe even a touch better. It's, I mean, saying my interpretation. I don't have a slipometer as they say. Just the impression I get. The scent. It's on the light side. I can only just smell it. The it's a citrus. I get floral, only a touch of wood in the background. It's quite light in the, in the leather. I call it light. I don't even think I would call it medium light. It's certainly very pleasant. Could be my favorite from Salt Lake. Beautiful. Right, across the grain. And we can hear the um, feedback there. Nice. Nice to can see I can just run my hand over. That's okay. Yeah, see, putting a stick in the sand, I'll just roll my razor over there.
Going well. Across the grain is sort of about that direction on my neck. I don't worry about being too accurate on my um, beard mapping. I just think if you go three different directions, you should be able to get the beard knocked down. Sort of a rough with the grain, across the grain, and against the grain. That's uh, roughly, well, not roughly as in <laughs> banging around, but uh, no in the general direction. I didn't put the extra water on that time. It's all right. I'm sure it'll work. This stuff has got a lot of moisture in it. It's well hydrated. Beautiful. A lot left too, and this is a third pass. Take my glasses off for this. On top of the cheek stuff. Yeah, that's got it. Nicely then. Wow, it's very nice and very slick. Residual air. So if you haven't tried salt, uh, salt lake soaps, I would suggest giving it a try. You know. going to be a, a worthwhile addition to your collection. Again I'll go the glasses off on this side. I'm mostly going by feel there, I can't see. Right, that's better. Get that the next pass on the it's start to dry out a bit. There's plenty of soap on my skin. I could probably shave with that just wetting that face. We won't because I've got plenty of leather here to do the 
touch-ups. Actually, the handle on this razor is actually from Yaki. So it's a bit of a Franken, Frankenstein razor with a DS, DS, Cosmetics, DS Cosmetics head and a Frankenstein or Frankenstein handle from Yaki. I think it's called a lobster, lobster handle. Very nice shape. It is mild. This razor is very mild actually for me. I think it's mild. Oh, it's lovely. That creamy goodness left over is really nice. Just need a wet hand. There's plenty of soap residue on my skin. Beautiful.